like most of this biome. It used to just be the place you came to learn set, but in Age of Sorcery, season two, I think, it got some updates. Maybe it was season three? Season three. We got some updates to this location. Punch everything up. It um it looks a little different now in Age of War. They've um been ransacked. But if you are familiar with coming to this location for obelisk trade-ins, you can still do that. We still have the supply material guy, and we have some legendary weapon guys that cycle through most of the ones that you could get from the caravans. You cannot get like the glimmer moon and I think the forge light and something else from them, but you can get like the momentum and stuff, which is fun. Right here, you can buy the combatants and the workers, which are still the same type of random ones that you could get. Over here, you'll learn the, well, you'll learn, you'll get the tools in four minutes, the five minutes, they'll change. It's a um, slightly different timer for uh, official servers. Over here is where you learn golem construction and buy your golem parts, which don't do that. It's much better to just find them about the place, but yeah, things have gotten pretty messed up in this area. But it's still kind of worthy to come and do the dungeon to get some extra blood crystals. I prefer to farm golems and rock noses around the world now because you, they've nerfed how much you get in the dungeon since Age of War came out. Still pretty worthy, it's fairly easy dungeon and you get the correct armor there. If you have been just collecting random blood crystals upon your journey, you can trade them in for some magi crates, which you will then open up and get various loots. And that's how you get the ancient obelisk now. If you do the dungeon, you can trade in his head for the magi cache, which is just fancier stuff. You can do it naked, it's not that hard, but I like to be somewhat prepared. If you die in the dungeon, your inventory just comes with you to wherever you spawn. Your bed, your bed roll the desert. Great place for body vaulting. Funcom just went and made it super easy for us. Who knows if they'll change that in the future, but there is a cooldown period as well when you activate the dungeon and you cannot be over encumbered when activating the dungeon. So you need 30 blood crystal at least, but if you know secrets, you just need 30 blood crystal only ever. You can't be in creative mode. As you can see, it's not giving me an option. Exit creative mode. And now I will be able to summon that for 30 blood crystal. So you can put all your blood crystal in or you can whatever. I'm on single player server, so I don't care about someone stealing my blood crystal. Note also, if you're on multiplayer, people... People can follow you into the dungeon with your portal open and potentially bug out the bosses if they stand in stupid places and or just try and steal your loot in there. So do keep an open eye whilst doing that. I like to bring set antidotes with me as well because there's a lot of spiders in there that you got to kill. Speaking of spiders, you probably want to bring a Zath knife, even though Feasts of Yog are not that important now with stem regen it's still a nice way to get a bunch of skulls that you need for other various things like leveling sorcery um you can get a lot of ichor in here as well as blood crystals and some other fun resources that we will see as we go you can also get um some demon fire pre-crafted which is nice if you are still getting star metal the old school way lucky i realized i did that for some reason i'm broken on obsidian being useful against the golems instead of star metal, but it is in fact star metal. I noticed when I was like, why do I have obsidian arrows? <laughs> but anyway, um, my brain and that, it is star metal that is better against them. So if you have like a star metal axe, I maybe even said that before, I probably said it. I don't know. Anyway, I caught myself. So you do in fact want to bring star metal stuff with you. I just usually use arrows, as you'll see. It's pretty easy. Drop this crap. I like to also buff up before going in there. Get a little bit of extra perkage. I just spawned in a couple of cleansing brews because I am corrupt and I don't want to be. There we go. And then we summon this. Takes a moment. You can also build fairly close, so I advise having a little shack so you can pull body when you're done in here if you don't want to kill yourself straight away and go to your house. 
you can build a little shack over here with a dancer in it and that and farm the dungeon a few times in between while it respawns and all that. Again, it's probably quicker just killing regular rock noses and golems about. As it corrupts you slightly going through, you want to eat another cleansing brew or have some champion pants on that cleanse your corruption. Or a dancer following you, whatever. This dungeon bit itself, not very hard. You just literally run through. Some gaseous areas. Actually, I think it's um, nothing. Maybe it's nothing. You have to kill a fair few more spiders than what you used to before. There's a couple of levels to it, and the main part of coming here is getting these golems. You don't have to harvest them straight away, but I have had incidences where I swear some of them like bugged out when I didn't. But you can wait until the very end to harvest everything. You have to wait around for a while while this thing does its little nonsense and you hear stories and all of that. You can't get through here. There's a barrier. So you also probably want to bring a torch because it's quite dark in here. As you can see, you're getting poisoned, so you want to be able to drink your poison removal. Or dodge around. Let's quickly spawn in a torch. And a one-handed weapon so you can in fact kill the thing. I think it's like 20 spiders now. And if you have glutton for punishment, then you'll be pretty fine rehealing. You also want to have at least efficient harvest on, otherwise this is really going to be not worth it at all for you. A bunch of the spideys. You can avoid their attacks if you will like, or you can just be like me and get get to get hit by every attack. If I can speak. Eventually, you'll see one of the little wizard guys. His corruption life. Eventually. <laughs> Poison does do a lot less damage, so you can get by without set pots now because, yeah, it used to be pretty crazy before. But you don't need to kill all of the spiders. Once you kill the dude, it'll be fine. Oh, there he is. Why is he not aggressing towards me? So you kill him, and then all the spiders will die, and then we'll activate the next. You put your torch away now. Bunch of dead spiders. Then we wait for golems to start activating. And take them down with your obsidian star metal arrows. I don't even have an archer build as you've seen. This is pretty easy. I probably also want to heal somewhat because I'll die otherwise. If you bring a thrall, it's pretty easy for them to accidentally kill that guy. He you want to avoid for as long as possible. Just shooting arrows off into random locations. And I think we only have two more left. And you can get your regular weapon out to kill old mate. And then it's going to spawn the next one. I like to loot him. Which is pretty easy. Again, you just avoid all of the zombies and make your way around to ooh, get these obelisks. Which also go down a little bit quicker when you are using star metal things. But regardless, go down pretty quick anyway. There is three of those obelisks around. It's a little bit hard to see if you don't have fog turned off. Sometimes you'll get caught amongst these guys and you'll have to kill your way out, but that's not too much of a biggie. What's this obelisk, man? It's another reason why I like axes, because they tend to be able to do a fair big area. we got one more left. I had 
to pause for a second, but now we're going to get the crazy dragon spawn in. You can hide in certain locations like behind here and things can't get you and you can heal up. But you want to just kill this guy and the dragon will die. He's a good source of dragon horns when hacked up, but you don't particularly want to get hit by his flame attack. But once this guy dies, that guy will die. And you can spend a few seconds going around and hacking everything up that you so require. Pretty sure you get a better chance of getting, um, you can bring that and wear that if you like, uh, better chance of getting the horns if you use a butcher's knife. You can zaff knife them, get the zaff bags. Too heavy. I think we've got them all now. I'm just going to drop some of this stuff so I can actually leave. <laughs> Does help to bring some sort of thrall with you. Pretty sure we got all the golems now. Do do a little double take because that's the whole purpose of coming in here. Now that you've killed all of them, harvested everything you want, run up here. The, uh, the, the barrier has gone. You can kill him or wait for him to stop rambling. Touch that. Learn your correct vestments. Kill him, loot his skull and his dragon powder and whatever else you want from his pockets. Then a gas will start spewing, which is an acidic gas. So you want to leave sooner than later before it starts damaging all of your armors. You can either kill yourself straight away or run out here and exit the dungeon in a normal manner and go to your little hut or trade and stuff, like I said. But yeah, killing yourself in there is just going to spawn you at your bedroll anyway with all of your things in your pocket, even with a not to keep loot on death. Trade in your blood crystals. From that run, we got about almost 700. You can probably get some easier from just killing the golems and stuff around. I usually like getting the rock noses that are like here, here. Let's see, there's this one here. Of course, the game's buggy and not showing them, but usually there's one here. And chilling right here that you can sometimes find fighting them. Go away, brute. You can see I already got like a hundred just off him. I tend to create a promote so they leave me alone. Now there are a lot more than these ones that I'm just going to briefly show you. But these are the ones that I like to get, especially early game. There's another one here by the Cabin of Fiends and Shaman's Rise where you learn the Yog religion. He's somewhere. They're usually always here. There he is. You are going to get less using a less good pick, obviously. You can also use a sickle axe. Any of the things work to harvest the blood crystals. FYI, you don't have to specifically wait until a black blood pick cycles through at mechanisms. There are a bunch more throughout the this area as well. Over at the eastern barracks, you'll find one right behind here usually. They being like this, man. Usually there's one right here. I don't know why they're bugging out. They shouldn't be bugging out. He's always young. At Death Whisper Ruin, the old uh, executioner's entrance, little brimstone mine, a bunch of pirate camps. Also find one just lurking usually in here. Again, the game is just being a bit weird and not sure. I don't know why. <laughs> Too much for it. But usually there's one right here. In the savannah, there's usually one right here, but not currently for some reason. Again, don't know why they're not spawning in for me to show you on the video. Funcom like makes it hard to even make content on their game. Because just stuff won't work when you want to make the content. And then it's very annoying. But I do it anyway because I care about community and their ability to be able to play the game with ease because it's a struggle sometimes but yeah usually right here there's like a rock golem somewhere rock golem rock nose blood crystal rock nose now the golems i'm pretty sure aren't 100 percent chance of being here because but I'm pretty sure the rock noses were, but anyway, right above our cast camp where a couple of little black ice nodes are, 
So as usually a golem here fighting some rock noses. He's not here today. I don't know, but this location. And up in the volcano is another spot that I like to come to get him because he's usually here fighting volcano dudes and you can get an easy kill on him. Not here. Don't know. Oh, there we are. There he is. Now you can use star metal stuff to That doesn't do any damage, barely. I don't know. I'm asunder. Yeah, dead. Get a lot from them. If you do happen to have oils on your pick like I did before, don't leave it out. I was just tripping. Now it's somewhat broken, but whatever. Now bring your very full self back to Mechamosis' fire. I like to have a summoning circle somewhere nearby so when I am farming I can come here quite easily and just summon my body without having to run across a land full of blood crystals. Great, a million in. Get all your stuff out, about a thousand. So I'm going to get a lot. It will overfill you if you are slot capped, so don't worry about that. You don't need inventory space, you can just keep requiring them. And you want to sit and open them all. So spam F profusely. Get a whole bunch of stuff. I also want to drop that in Dubai. We're going to get a lot of pouches for magic. So much gold. This is all just this run bunch of obelisks and then we can still trade in our skull for the grand magi cache which looks slightly different and gives us a little bit more stuff and usually a golem part yeah that's essentially the blood crystals and um korak dungeon there's not much to it Bring efficient harvest and a black blood pick with you preferably with oils on it to get the maximum out of your golems probably forgot some important information as i always do if you know what that is chuck it up in the comments or if you enjoy farming blood crystals this way or if you prefer finding the rock noses and golems in the wild let me know in the comments below and if you found this information informative smash that like button and consider subscribing if you're not already it means a bunch and until next time i hope you have an excellent day evening night morning whatever it may be wherever you may be have a good one.